What is going on guys? Welcome back to part 4 of my action RPG tutorial series for Unreal Engine 5. In this part we are going to be doing combo animations because in the last video as you might remember we have set up an attack animation and it was one animation which you know it repeated each time you hit the attack button. So this time we are going to be setting up combos so that it has follow up animations. When you spam attack it doesn't keep repeating the same animation. And you know it doesn't look as bad i don't think there's much else to say so please give the video a like and subscribe if you want to see more of these and let's get started so it's gonna be a really quick setup and it's gonna be like <laughs> the easiest video so far so yeah please buckle in and enjoy the ride because this is like one of the most enjoyable things to set up so i'm gonna open the project now and as you can see, we are in the animations folder of the pack that we have imported. By the way, guys, if you've already missed the previous video, um, we set up basic attacks. So like you can spam the attack, you can keep attacking forever. And yeah, it's fine, it's, it works, but it's just basic one attack. So now we are gonna follow up on that and set up a basic combo system using our animations over here. So this is the ARPG Warrior pack. In case you missed my previous videos, go check them out. Over here, we have set up combo one montage or the first attack animation. We're gonna use combo two and we're not gonna use combo three. We're gonna use combo four and combo B4. So those are the ones I picked and uh, we're gonna create an montage. So we have the montages for them now. We can just open any montage. And as you can see in the previous video, we set up the thing that doesn't let you spam the attacks until the notify happens. I explained notify as well. So if you want to check out the previous video, link's going to be in the description for the entire playlist. Anyway, yeah, we're just going to like do the same thing for all the new animation montages. So we're going to right uh, click on one of them and we're gonna scrub through it until we find the point where the swing ends we're gonna give it a little bit of time to breathe like to start like just slightly going back to position we're gonna add a notify attack reactivate and we're gonna open this as well do the same thing so after the swing part ends give it a little bit of time to breathe and over here we're gonna add notify attack reactivate and for the last one we're also going to do the same thing. So once the swing ends, you know, swing ends here, sometime to start like slightly going back, right click, add notify, attack reactivate. And depending on how fast paced your game is, you can just like push this faster or slower. So, but yeah, it's, it's your choice. Anyway, we have set all of that up. I'm just going to save. What we're going to do is we're going to open the character blueprint and as you can see this is where we set up our basic attack function or well it's not a function yet it's just like on the event graph so when you hit the attack button we check if we're attacking or not if we're not we activate attacking play montage then after a delay or if the notify happens then um, we're going to disable attacking so that we can attack again so it's a very basic setup and it works but we need like montage to play needs to be something different each time depending on the attack count so that's what we're going to do right now so from montage to play drag out of here type select and over here the index we should um well we're going to promote that well we can't promote it to a variable fine we're going to make a new variable which is going to be called attack count and this attack count variable, we're going to put it over here inside the index. If it doesn't fit in the index, then you need to change the variable type to integer. Well, do it anyway. So the variable type needs to be integer and the default value should be zero, by the way. So uh, we're going to add two pins. So for each pin, we're going to have like a different attack animation. So if attack count is zero, the first time we play the first animation, this is option one play second animation because we're gonna increase the attack count over here and of course like if it's option three then we're gonna go back to zero so let's actually set that up it's a very basic thing so if you get attack count over here and drag out of it press the plus button 
twice you can see this node called increment int so this will add one to an integer every time it happens of course i forgot to add the animations here so uh, we have all of our montages that we made we're gonna go with um, for option zero it's gonna be combo one for option two it's gonna be combo two. well option one is gonna be combo two option two we're gonna go with combo b4 and for the finisher or, or like the fa final attack of the combo it's gonna be combo four which is like the strongest looking one so if we go ahead and play you're gonna see two issues first thing is the root motion problem that everyone complains about and second is that once the combo ends you're not going to be able to attack again so we're going to fix that first and then we're going to look at the root motion thing since it's very basic so as you as you may know like as you can see we at like add to the attack count each time we attack and then when it reaches three there's no more animations to play so like it keeps adding each time but there's no animation to play so it gets stuck and uh, basically nothing happens now the way to fix this is once the attack count is equal to or greater than three we're gonna go back and set it to zero so over here what we're gonna do is we're gonna disconnect this and attack count we're gonna drag out of it type greater than or equal to which is like these two symbols or you can type it if you want and the number is going to be three then we're going to do a branch and we're going to connect it like this and i think that's it actually oh wait no of course i'm really dumb sometimes yeah we forgot to do the actual thing we just checked so if the attack count is greater than or equal to three we're going to set attack count and it's going to be zero so it goes back to the first animation and if it's not three, then we're gonna increment the attack count to be something larger by one than what it already is. So I think this is fine. It's still gonna have one problem. So let's test it and see how, though. So you can see once the last animation ends, it goes back to the first one and it's perfect because we've set up the notifies. So the problem is right now is the root motion. And then we're going to go back to the last problem that we have. So I'm just going to like, I'm going to show you a quick way to edit all the animations without really having to go back and um, like do each one of separately. So you can select all the animations you want to edit and then right click, go to asset actions, edit selection and property matrix. By the way, if you are on an earlier version, it's going to be called like bulk edit via property matrix that name was fine i don't know why they changed it to this like they didn't really need to change it and then you'll go back to like go to the root motion section over here and enable root motion and of course you have a lot of options that you can edit like rate scale and stuff but we're not going to touch that now and yeah if you hit play that should actually fix the root motion issue that we had yeah that's perfect so there is one last problem we are dealing with and it's the fact that like once the animation ends so for example we're on the third attack of the combo so one two three and we didn't do the fourth attack of the combo and now like it should be too late to do it so attacking another time should start like the combo from scratch but if we do attack it doesn't really reset it until it reaches the fourth attack so we're gonna fix that right now and it's also really really basic over here inside the line of code that we just made basically we want to we want to set the attack count back to zero if the animation ends without you attacking again so i'm gonna set attack count on blend out so when the animation ends i mean i guess we could make it uncompleted instead yeah uncompleted is fine for now we might change that but on blend out is faster so when it starts blending out of the animation that's when it happens uncompleted happens like when like when the animation completely ends i'm gonna go with this for now because i want the player to have like some time to just like try to finish the combo uh, but yeah this is 
this should be okay. I'm just going to add a couple of rewrote nodes in order to keep it clean. There we go. And we should actually test it. So hit play, do the first, second, and third attack. And now that the animation's ended, if we attack again, it's going to do the first one again. Yeah, the combo is nice. So one thing I want to also do is I want to go to all of the montages and I want to pull back the um, reactivate notify a little bit on all of them so that it's a little bit faster paced. So once this swing ends, I'm just going to like put it there. So the swing ends here. No, actually for the last animation, I guess you could keep it like a little bit farther so that you can't attack during the last animation. So I'm just going to put it here. And this is the third animation. Yeah, here's fine. So we're going to play it again one last time to see that it works. And that would be the end of it. I know this part was actually fun. So you can see it works and you can spam the attacks and all of them work nicely. And if you like stop mid combo, it will reset the combo, which is perfect. It's exactly what we need. So guys, this is it actually like it's that simple. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really did. This is like my favorite part so far. So uh, if you enjoyed it, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel, because I have a lot more of those coming up, like a lot of RPG tutorials and I'm being really consistent this time. So if you have not subscribed, please do because you don't want to miss out. And of course, you can check out my Discord server because like you want to get in case you want to like ask something, the community is going to help you. There's a lot of cool guys over there who can like help you and give you tips. And if you're stuck on something, you can just ask them. And even I could be there so I could like answer your questions if I'm there. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Have a great day and bye.